Tom Bateman has had quite a few high-profile roles you might have already seen. His most prominent big-screen role to date has been in Kenneth Branagh's film franchise Murder on the Orient Express and Death on the Nile. In addition, many of his most prominent acting roles have been in the world of television, such as in the tunnel Da Vinci's Demons, Behind Her Eyes, and Vanity Fair. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Tom Bateman. He has 13 siblings. Born on March 15, 1989, in Oxford, England, Tom Bateman grew up with 13 siblings, including his twin brother Merlin. His mother worked as a primary school teacher while his father taught music in school. Growing up with a twin brother and 12 other siblings was a unique experience, as the actor revealed to people in 2017, the amazing thing about having so many brothers and sisters, they cover every single base, you know. You've got people in hospitality, teachers, masseuses, airline pilots, people selling houses, cars. My brother works for the Red Cross. So, yeah, they're kind of an amazing gang. He won a scholarship. Bateman was a member of the National Youth Theatre and went on to receive the prestigious Leverhulme Scholarship at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. But he quit during his final year after he was offered a part in 2012's film adaptation of Much Ado About Nothing. Since then, Bateman has gone on to land roles in several projects like Cold Pursuit, Beachem House, Death on the Nile, and 13 Lives. He is a certified scuba diver. Bateman isn't interested in sitting around. In 2016, when he had three weeks off between filming a TV show and starting a theater gig, he decided to become a certified scuba diver. He said, Second day in, I was bored, so I flew to Gozo and I did my license. He skydived without permission while filming a movie. While filming Snatched in Hawaii, Bateman went skydiving without the executive producer's permission, which could have left him injured and delayed production. He said, I was driving back on a Saturday afternoon from the beach and I just saw this sign saying skydiving for $95. And I was like, I can't not skydive for $95. I told Amy, she said, Tom, what did you do on the weekend? I said, I went skydiving. It was amazing. You're so high up you can see the curve of the earth. The second I landed, I wanted to do it again. The next day, the executive producer came up and was like, you skydived. You know you aren't allowed to skydive. He learned how to barbecue for his role in Behind Her Eyes. In preparation for his role in Behind Her Eyes, Bateman had to take lessons to perfect the Scottish accent and, bizarrely, participate in a barbecue workshop as his character is seen grilling, at a distance, in a couple of scenes. He told British GQ, The hilarious randomness of our jobs is that each new project has new challenges, such as having a sword fight, or horse ride, or suddenly have to know everything about the Medici family. He read the psychopath test as part of his research to play serial killer. And based on a true story, Bateman played Matt Pierce, a plumber who moonlights as a vicious serial killer lurking on the streets of Los Angeles. When asked by NBC Insider how he got into character, Bateman admitted that he read John Ronson's The Psychopath Test, a journey through the madness industry, which explores how many psychopaths evade detection in everyday life. He said, it looks at the psychology of psychopaths and serial killers and John Ronson's trying to understand what makes them tick. That, for me, became really fascinating. This idea that psychopaths are very good at emulating emotion and putting on masks of real people. That they have no empathy. They don't have that connection that human beings have. So, I really loved playing with that. His first love is the stage. Although Tom Bateman has become a film and television star, his first love is the stage, having fallen in love with the craft after being cast in a play. He said, With film, you get a bit more luxury. You get to chat with the world a bit. I would like to do both if I can. My mom asked me what I prefer, and I said, I never miss film, but I miss theater. He loves period dramas. As an acclaimed stage performer in the UK, Bateman seems to enjoy getting dressed in period costumes and playing historical figures. He told PBS, The reason I love filming period dramas is that they instantly make you act differently. People don't talk about their feelings as much. They don't say, Oh, I really fancy you. And you don't touch each other. So, you have to add another way of expressing those feelings which is really fun. He hates to watch himself on screen. Despite starring in a handful of hit films and TV series, Bateman admitted in one interview that he hates watching himself on screen. He said, I don't like to work from the outside in. You don't want to be looking at yourself and going, erg, I've got a double chin, or I didn't raise my eyebrow quite right. 
at the Cold Pursuit premiere last year, I went for a walk and then had a drink with my makeup artist in a pub. He is not a fan of social media. Social media serves as a powerful tool for actors to connect with their fan base and expand their audience. There are a rare few who use it sparingly, and Tom Bateman is one of them. He doesn't have verified social media accounts, saying he prefers to do as much as possible face-to-face. -face. He told Glass Magazine, I have a real dislike or a recoil reflex towards things like social media and phones. I hate my mobile phone. We, as human beings, are communal animals who connect and create. How do we conquer this planet? It's because of our ability to communicate, so it's a vital part of our being, our core.